Hey guys, I wanted to show you a really cool glitch you can do to put six attachments on your starting pistol for Black Ops 3 Zombies. This glitch will also work for the AK-74U and the 1911 if you have them unlocked from the black market, but the Marshall 16 can only receive a camo because it's dual wield, so just keep that in mind. Also for this glitch you'll need a secondary account, so I highly recommend having two controllers to make switching back and forth between accounts easier. The first thing you want to do is, with the account you want the glitch on, head on over to your console settings, click on network, and disconnect from your internet. Start at Black Ops 3 and then go into the main menu. From here you want to go back into your console settings and reconnect to the internet. Back in the game's menu, go down to the play online option, select it, and it's going to ask you to confirm whether you want to connect to the game servers. Press X on the option and the game will start to connect you online, and at this point you want to quickly go ahead and press circle to close out of the notification and then press start on your controller. What you'll be looking for is this notification at the bottom of the menu that says press X to continue. If you see this, it means you successfully glitched out the menu and you can proceed with the next step. Press X and you're going to be taken to this very trippy menu, but go ahead and select zombies and now you'll be in the glitched lobby. Now take your second controller and sign in to your second account. Once you've done that, have your second account select private game and click on weapon kits. Then go to secondaries and select the bowie knife. Switch back to your first controller and press X to make the armory appear. Afterwards, go back to your second controller and press circle three times until you're back in the glitch zombies lobby. Make sure that the last option here is highlighted, which is the weapon kits, and press X again. Then go into the secondaries and once again select the bowie knife. Now, with your first controller, go ahead and choose which weapon you want to take attachments from and make a variant. If you get an error on naming your variant, just try entering a name again until you can confirm it. Here's a list of weapons and attachments that are compatible with this glitch, and the other cool thing is that you can transfer a camo you have to any weapon that you want. Also, keep in mind that certain attachments will not transfer to other guns. For example, the ballistic CPU will obviously not work on something like a shotgun, but go ahead and pick the attachments that you want. I'm going to go with the KN44, and once you've selected your attachments and camo, press circle and save your variant. Take your second controller and press circle three times and go ahead and make sure that last option is highlighted again. Press X and go into secondaries and then select the bowie knife one more time. Now grab your first controller and press circle. Scroll over to the weapon you want to put attachments on and create a variant for it. I'm choosing the MR6 and after you've created the variant, go ahead and save it. Now copy the variant and you want to go ahead and edit that copy. I usually just change the name, but you can change the camo here if you want to. Once you've finalized what you want, go ahead and delete the original variant that you made for the gun. Now press circle three times to completely back out of the glitched menu, and then take your second controller and press circle another three times to revert the zombie's lobby to normal. And now you're completely done with the glitch. You can remove your second account now, and what I usually do is go into a solo game, because for some reason my customized weapon will only appear in public lobbies if I start up a solo game first, so I guess it has to load in my variant or something. But this glitch is super easy to do, and it's really funny to hear people's reactions when they see like a glowing 1911 in the game. The only drawback to this glitch is that if you've done the super easter egg for all the main DLC maps and gotten the RK5 along with full starting ammo, this glitch will remove the full ammo from your starting pistol. Also, if you pack a punch either a 1911 or MR6 that you've customized with this glitch, it'll remove the attachments and just give you the default ones, so keep that in mind. But anyways, I hope you have fun with this glitch, I know that I did. If you like this tutorial and or like my channel, please subscribe and turn on your notifications. I usually post new videos every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!